Hey everyone, it's time to Nephis and chill. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what changed with the Maelstrom Destruction staff for Update 35, otherwise known as the Lost Depths DLC patch. Pre-Update 35, the Maelstrom staff tooltip reads, add 1,190 offensive penetration, and your light and heavy attacks deal an additional 1,353 damage to enemies in your wall of elements. After update 35, the Maelstrom Staff tooltip reads, uh, increases the damage of your wall of elements by 1250, which is, uh, that's pretty much it. So how does it work now exactly? I got curious, and it seems a new Maelstrom Staff buffs not only the initial damage tick of a blockade or unstable wall, but also the ticks as well. I did some baseline testing between a Maelstrom Inferno Staff and a non-Maelstrom Inferno Staff with the same setup, trait and enchantment. For example, with a Maelstrom Staff, Blockade is now hitting more than double its non-Maelstrom uh, Staff counterpart in terms of ticks and max hits, including critical hits. With a Maelstrom Staff, Unstable Wall is hitting also more than double of its non-Maelstrom counterpart in terms of ticks, max hits, including critical hits, and of course the explosion component of the morph, and a bit more than Blockade, which is the uh, counter morph. So what does this all mean? I think in terms of trash setups and AoE damage, the Maelstrom Staff remains viable or optimal depending on the scenario, but in terms of single target fights or even clay fights, I think you'll still go with a non-Maelstrom or Maelstrom Greatsword on the back bar or a bow on the back bar for update 35 depending on the fight or your spec, but we'll have to do more testing to see. There are several things that made the devs change how the Maelstrom Staff work if you're wondering why after 6 or so years they decided to change it. First, there is the extremely powerful buff to Empower, which would have been quite ludicrous in terms of damage output depending on your build, uh, to anything you're heavy attacking standing in your walls. I suspect that's the first reason. Second, the unstable wall morph itself was nerfed in addition to some other things like the burning proc damage. And of course there were buffs to sustain for spamming this skill. So they may have seen the staff as a necessary buff for something they nerfed and may want players to engage with more. Third, according to their dev comment, they believe that the pre-update 35 Maelstrom staff demanded too much skill from having players lie attack weave and that when compared to the other Maelstrom weapons, the staff doesn't simply buff the wall skill itself, which is true if you do look at the other Maelstrom weapons, like Maelstrom 2-hander buffs the uh, uh, Stampede AoE, Maelstrom Bow buffs the Volley AoE, but going by this slightly problematic logic, it confuses me that they didn't touch other skill intensive sets like Sororia, Base, Coral Riptide, and many more things that demand similar or harder interactions between the player and the playstyle forced upon them by the item sets. Personally, I am not a big fan of these changes to the Maelstrom staff, despite understanding why the changes occurred and where it came from, because to me, this goes against the so-called play how you want mantra that the devs and communities often declare. Previously, if you wanted to spam unstable wall on your back bar for AoE intensive fights, you could. And if you wanted to engage with the light or heavy attack uh, buff component of a Maelstrom staff, you could. Either way, you are probably still using a Maelstrom staff for these playstyles. Now it feels like we're being pushed towards using it more for spamming on the back bar or more heavily delegating it to AoE fights, especially within the context of a lot of arena weapons becoming much more niche for update 35. But anyway, who, who knows, what do you guys think about this change? Do you like it? Dislike it? Let me know down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time, stay safe, and have fun.